It will be interesting for you if I were to go to the Quran to Surah Al-Ma'idah of the Quran and listen to what the Quran has to say about the world today Allah says Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu O you who have faith in Allah La tattakhidhu al-yahuda wa nasara awliya Do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies we probably have some Christians present here tonight do not take the Jews and do not take the Christians as your friends and allies question let's stop there before we go to the rest of the verse is Allah speaking about all Jews and all Christians or is he speaking about some Jews and some Christians problem here is methodology if you use the defective methodology I call it the lazy man's methodology of studying a verse of the Quran in isolation no scientist does that huh? take a verse of the Quran in isolation by itself stand alone to derive its meaning if you do that, then you have to come to the conclusion he's talking about all Jews and all Christians. But if you use the proper methodology, which every scientist does, to go to the totality of the data and organize the totality of the data into a meaningful organic whole, harmonious whole, then you look at what is a system of meaning which binds that data all together. When you do that, in this case, and we don't have the time to do it, you'll then realize, no, not at all. Allah could not be speaking about all Jews and all Christians. For example, in the same Surah Al-Ma'idah, he says, وَلَتَجِدَنَّ أَقْرَبَهُمْ مَوَدَّةً لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّا نَصَارًا and you will most certainly find in time to come that those who are closest of all to you in friendship and love in love and friendship would be those who say we are Christians so George Bush don't qualify here <laughs> and Tony Blair don't qualify here because they are enemies not friends those who will be closest in love and affection to you in time to come would be those who say we are Christians this is the Quran so how can you say to those who are closest in love and affection to you we can't be friends with you it doesn't make sense does it And so Allah could not be speaking about all Jews and all Christians. Well then, if he's not speaking about all Jews and all Christians, which Jews and which Christians is he talking about? From the time you ask that question, the words which follow give you the answer. لا تتخذ اليهود والنصارى أولياء بعدهم أولياء بعد there it is, the answer is there. Ba'aduhum awliya uba. Meaning, do not take such Jews and do not take such Christians as your friends and allies who themselves are friends and allies of each other. The Quran is saying that in a time to come, the Quran is anticipating that in a time to come there's going to be a mysterious reconciliation between part of the Christian world and part of the Jewish world and there will emerge in the world a mysterious Judeo-Christian alliance friendship and alliance when that happens then Allah is prohibiting you from being friends and allies of those Christians and Jews 
who established the Judeo-Christian alliance, not an individual Christian who has a Jewish neighbor. Don't be foolish. <laughs> has that alliance come into being? If you have not recognized it, you're eating too much roti chanai. <laughs> huh? Yes, it has. A mysterious Judeo-Christian alliance has emerged in the world thanks to the relentless efforts of the Vatican, efforts which are still continuing up to now. And it is a Zionist alliance. It is a Zionist alliance. It is that Zionist alliance which is responsible for overturning well, at that time it was not known as the Zionist Alliance. It was known as Jewish Christian Collaboration. For overturning European Christendom and bringing into being modern Western secular civilization. But only in the 19th century did they actually establish the Zionist movement. When the first Crusades took place, for example, I was not aware until I learned that the Jews financed the Crusades. <laughs> yes. So Christian Jewish collaboration in Europe was taking place for a long, long time. When the Jewish Christian Zionist Alliance emerged in the world, uh, these are the ones who have continuously been waging war on Islam. And Allah says in the Quran, in the words which follow, minkum fa innahu minhum. Whosoever from amongst you turn to them with friendship and alliance. We are friends of America. <laughs> okay, go ahead and make that statement. Wait until you get in your grave and you'll see. <laughs> Whoever turns to them for friendship and alliance, you've lost your Islam. <laughs>